need to see them. Right, right I'm recording in a minute, so you better shut up about your prices. <laughs> oh, we're recording now. <laughs> oh, too late. <laughs> that, that well, that was fun. That was hey, check oil this oil out. Oil check oil. this little oiling can out. It's me and him, Biggles and the Red Baron. We've been down to Bethesden. Bethesden, Kent, which is um, like Biddenden but not Biddenden or Bethesden or Marden or, and, and it's one of these tiny little places and, and we were recording a video log for everyone but somebody forgot to switch the record on, didn't they? <laughs> What's that? What maker is that? Oh, we don't know this one. I'm going to have to go back and have a look at this one. But it's an 18th century uh, OG moulding plane, isn't it? A beautiful yeah. OG plane. Yeah. So, the idea was for me to go and... and do I turn bronze. left here or what? I have no idea where I'm going. going. That way goes the tent. Then. Okay, we're going this way because I'm sure I said go this way. We're looking for Staplehurst, right? Something like that. So, the story goes like this. We turn up at this, this place that's... This is the second secret place in Kent, and it's even more secret, because trust me, I have no idea how we got here, but it's in the middle of absolutely nowhere. And in it, mate, the roads yeah. are single track roads, and it's turn left, turn right, turn left, turn right, and I think it was almost like, you know those party games where you get people blindfolded, and you spin them around, and then you face them around, and then you spin them around, and then they have no idea which way they're going. It's like one of them. Yeah. They're, so out, what they're out channels. So are they? They're out channels. Now that is interesting. So show everybody what you what you weren't gonna get. <laughs> There's a long story to this. These chisels, carving chisels, right? Explain, explain, explain. SJ Addis. Ebony and rose for all rose. One's all rosewood, handle. one's ebony. And I've got them cheap. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, they were cheap cheap and nearly didn't buy them didn't you yeah but so I, I had to buy them he was gonna buy them inverted commas and then by the time I got to the counter he went said, back to grab a couple of keys that I paid for him <laughs> see that's a that's real see now now a, a German officer would never have done that do you know what I mean they would never have done that they would never have secretly hoodwinked Biggles <laughs> by going and paying for the bloody things before. Oh, where's my chisels, I say. I've already bought them, he says. <laughs> so, I was going to get £100 out to go and buy a ladder because I need a little apple picking ladder, but part of an apple picking ladder. I, I'll show pictures later on. I wanted to buy an apple picking ladder that uh, I could use in the workshop because some of the shelves where the tools are now having to be put because there's so many of them are at, up high and I can't I can be in a midget I can't actually reach them so it was a case of making a step ladder making a set of library steps but I had this genius idea that since we're in Kent that I should go and buy an apple ladder which is sawn off so it basically is just a little little step ladder. So there was hundreds of them, weren't there? Yeah. All over the place in this salvage yard. And that's what I was going to buy, wasn't it? And I'd have been all right with that, wouldn't I? Probably 60 quid. <laughs> but Jim got excited and bought everything he could see. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't. What happened was I, I then saw this... Oh, no, tell them about the lock. Tell them about Yeah, the lock. what? Which one? Right, no, okay. <laughs> I've always wanted a spend a penny lock. So in England, we had public toilets and there was these locks that had like a piggy bank at the bottom, like a, a you know, money, if you put money in. And you put a penny, an old penny in the top and it released the lock and then the money falls into the bottom. So I've always wanted one to put on the toilet door on the basis that I've got to get money back from my son somehow. So, but they are stupid, aren't they? They're stupid, yep. stupid money. So I bought, I saw one of those, it was bargain, but it doesn't have any keys or anything. So 
There may even be money in it, I don't know, but I can't get, get so I'm going to have to do a bit of lock picking on that. That would be fun. Another one of my latest fun hobbies. And then there was that, the one that was the bank, bank lock, wasn't it? It uses two keys to open it simultaneously. Two keys? Two, I think it's Victorian, but it is unique. Put one key upside down and one key the right way up. And then you've both got to turn them at the same time. It's like a sort of, sort of a domestic version of a nuclear attack. You know, you've got to have both the keys and the, both the people there. So it will be the bank manager and the bank manager's assistant, something yeah. like that. So that's what happened. I got kind of wrapped up in in those, and then then Ivan showed me that box of saws. What did I get in that box? Was Which one? The Lancaster Lancashire pattern. Oh, you, yes, it. You've got a Lancashire pattern axle. Which I've you got were going to buy? Which you were going to buy? Yeah, and I got an Atkins Atkins panel saw. SJ had his chisels. Two planes. A big lump of bronze. Yeah, I think that is bronze, you know. I don't think it's brass. It's as heavy as anything. Really thick. Tenor. And I'm quite happy with that. So, it didn't always, oh, and that, do you remember that, that, that little three-prong thing? Oh, uh, James, James um, will be absolutely, James Price will be absolutely gobsmacked by this. I have never seen one before. Where am I going? Uh, Maystone. Nice. Stay up. You're heading towards, yeah. You want to turn. Right. So, there's this, you know, like, you can get taps and dies. But this tap and die set. Oh yeah, because you got that and all. Yeah. Was how much was it? It's a couple of quid, wasn't it? That's it. Um, um, two pound, I think. It's kind of like they're all fitted together, and you've got a tap, a, a, a reamer, a tap. a tap, and a die, all in the same tool. But they're tapered, so they're like for plugs, bungs, or something like that, I suppose. Yeah. Do you think? Yeah, could be. Anyway, that's another one that's going to be a, a show and tell when we get back from. Uh, just keep if we get back. From... <laughs> if you start, just keep heading Maidstone. We're going. Yeah, we're on the right road. Some of these roads, even down here. I mean, this is quite a nice road, isn't it? Yeah. Compared with what we've been down, but there's some really sort of sudden right-hand bends down here. So that was it. So we had fun, didn't we? Oh yes. Oh, what else did you get? Uh, I've got two planes, two chisels. Oh, you got a compass plane by Joe Buck, didn't you? Yeah. And with an adjustable fiber. front. Yeah, for an adjustable front. Um, an Atkins panel saw. Um, you got something else? A rolling seed oil. Um, oh, and a handle. Oh yeah, plane handle. 18th ah. century plane handle. Matt, Matt Bertoff. We. Th this is serious this is uh 1800s i would have said very similar to the gabriel one i used for the boxwood jointer that's it uh you know where the two fronts of a, of a what you call a tote or the handle they actually meet on the on a, on yeah. a jointer or a jack plate yeah. no a jointer closed hand they come to a, a really thin point don't they yeah and, and it, absolutely stunning we put them all in the right. back have you got it you got it that's it there but it's only the handle. Yeah. Quid. No, I paid 50p, 50p for that. 50p for that one. Couldn't couldn't have uh, couldn't have left it on the shelf. No. That would have been illegal. I thought it wouldn't have. Atkins panel saw. I'm not 100 percent sure whether you waving that about is gonna get the attention of any passing police car. <laughs> You haven't got any axes or anything? No, no axes. We see loads of axes. There was a bearded axe, wasn't there, that you were going to... Oh, Viking axe, yeah. James E. Price would like that. that. But that was serious money, wasn't it? 140 yeah. quid or something. Something like that, yeah. But it was large, wasn't it? Yeah. That was a head chopping axe. But I think it's actually used, as I said, for thatching thatch buildings, thatch roofs, because I think it's actually... Oh no, that was the other tool. Oh, is it? Oh, okay. That was the bit, uh, the other axe. Oh, right, right. That's right, I think. That 
looks a lot lot bigger, wouldn't it? They look a lot bigger. This is a better road than the one we come down on. Yeah, it's actually a road. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that other one was a bit like weren't a real road, was it? Not really. No. Somebody's driveway, wasn't it? About as wide actually I've seen people with wider driveways than that. Oh and when we didn't when we didn't record the travel log beforehand, Ivan was just reminding me that it was a good job we didn't because we came up to a, a junction to turn right and some Yeah we need to go around that way. Some gentleman in a Mercedes decided that he wasn't gonna take any notice of the red light. Uh, and so I think it was based on anticipation, wasn't it? That yeah. Some idiot was going to do that. Um, but my apparently my language was a little bit Saxon English at that point. <laughs> to say the least. To say the least. So we're rather glad we didn't actually record that bit. But um, so just a little bit of history. This is the part of Kent that's um, old. That's old, and it's the it's the hop farm. We're, area. we're just coming up to Biddenden, which is a famous cider making country. Yeah, it is, isn't it? They've actually got Biddenden uh, cider uh, breweries up through here. I think we just passed the Biddenden turn off. No, we're coming up to it now. Isn't there a castle down here somewhere? I don't know. Oh, uh, no, this is nice way. We passed... Just uh, back that way. Bethes no, Bethesden, Biddenden... Uh, I See, know. this is this is Biddenden because you've got the twins. That's their sign, isn't it? You're just coming up to it now. And so. also, did you know, did you know, that the guy who See, made... there they are, the twins. Okay, explain what the tw why the twins are... Bitten. Don't know. No, we don't know. I haven't got a clue. You'd have to look that oh, one up. Lo a lovely bit of parking, mate. Check out... As I go past, guys, check out the bloody idiot. Thank you, Waitrose. Tosser. Oops. Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, there, I couldn't resist it. <laughs> I did I'm not going to be able to keep this family friendly if I'm driving in Kent. I'm not. I'm honest. I'm not. But he deserved that, didn't he? No. Oh, parking right opposite. I keep left sign. Right. So, but Biddenden is also where they make the world's, or made the world's most sought after guitar pickups, would you believe? Actually hand wound them. And there was a guy here who used to make uh, Seth Lover pickups um, in right in the middle of the village. He used to wind them on a on a fishing on a fishing reel and uh, sell them to all the people around about in the sixties, the Beatles and things like that. Did you know that? Did you know I that? didn't know that. See, I mean, again, a mine of useless information. Just on the right, I don't know, Douglas. If you could see just behind me now, over on my shoulder there, uh, is a Kent. Uh, traditional Kent, uh, Kent clad clothes board. Clad clothes board, yeah. So I got a white van right behind me. He's obviously not appreciating me doing the guided tour. Um, Straight on from Maidstone. I know where I am. Also, just for reference, up here, Ivan, when we get to Staplehurst, is a, a model engineering shop on the trading estate and that's where they sell gunmetal and bronze. Do they? Yeah. And it's the only place I know in England that sells it and they sell it to you know steam live steam enthusiasts who are making yeah. model railways and things, model trains and steam traction engines and stuff. Uh, it's on the it's on the trading estate right next to the railway station. This is a funny thing about this funny thing about Ken is that Think you drive through and it's all very twee and pubs in it and little yeah. fields and hot farms and oast houses but hidden away in these little industrial estates are these most ridiculous things like you know the, the only place you can buy gun metal I mean why would why why there you wouldn't even believe it you wouldn't I mean you wouldn't think would you I mean like in the middle of Sheffield in an industrial estate maybe but not in the middle of Kent in the middle the apple grey. No. It's really strange. But it's obviously somebody who's an enthusiast. I don't know. So 
So, have we got anything else to tell everybody in America and, and around England and Australia or anything else we need to tell them? Do you think? Um, not yet. We've got to do a post later. So we're going to do a post later. You've got loads of photographs, haven't you? Yeah. Oh, about the door. What we about have... your grinder? Oh, my grinder, my grinder, my grinder. See why? See why? This is why we spent 500 quid between us. <laughs> I don't know. Whoops. Your wife is not going to watch this, is she? No. I wouldn't advise it. But I got this... I mean, wait, you, got, you guys got to wait and see this this grinder, isn't it? Isn't it? It's the, it's the bee's knees, isn't it? Come yeah. on, explain it. Explain it. It's just... Put it this way. It's hand-wound. You wind it with it, but it's cog-driven. It's hard to explain, isn't it? We've had a show. didn't really want to sit behind me, did he, that video? It, it's one big cog uh, onto which is a handle and a little cog at the top. Might to be get... because you're going too slow. I think it's 60 oh, no, from I'm here. I'm doing 60. Oh, yeah. And I can't go any faster. There's cars in front of me. Unless you want to ram up the back of the house. It's just because he's a complete and utter pot. Isn't it? Yeah. Look at him. Look at him. Yeah, Sorry guys, we'll, Ed we'll, there, what we'll do is we'll cut some we'll cut some dash cam footage into this video to show you how much of an idiot. That's probably the way you drive, isn't it, like that? No. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was how you were describing how you drive. Only when I'm in a rush. <laughs> I can't go any faster. Can I go any faster? I'll be right up no. his backside. No, I can't see. So let's, let's call it a day on. No, plus you're going to have to slow oh, down when you get around the corner. Lotus E type. Sorry, J Jag. E type Jag. E type Jag. Just gone past. So we saw a door. Oh, two doors, didn't we? Yeah. And we got photos of them. Um, with linen, they... linen fold moulding on. Linen fold carvings on the fronts of each panel. And it's just. Indescribably beautiful, wasn't it? Yeah. How much were they? Fourteen hundred quid. Something like that. For a reclaimed door. Thirty mile an hour now. Did you want me to go slow? No, you've got to do thirty because you're going through Edcon now. I can't go any faster than I'm going because of the car. <laughs> I really am going to cut some dash cam footage in here to get the seriousness of this. That's where we went that way, wasn't it? Yeah. That was yeah. the wrong way, wasn't it? Yeah, you took the wrong turning. No, well, it, uh, now we know. You told me I you didn't knew where you was going. No, uh, come on, come on. The, the sat nav told me to go down there, didn't it? Yeah. Which was wrong. This whole village, Douglas, is is completely Kent white panelled houses, and they they date from 1600s, six 1600s, I think. And they are absolutely stunning. If you ever come over to the UK, um, you need to come down and see some of these buildings. They are just uh, all over the place. In fact, most of the village is. Um, is made of those of those uh, still got some of the quite a lot of the histor historical buildings left apparently there's a, there's an auction up here as well uh, Ivan for um, general general goods auctions Are yeah trouble with your missus he's... no no she's saying that I've got to pick the parcel up tomorrow because um, they turned up at um, 10 30 and put a thing through the door rather than turning up at one o'clock didn't you ask him to leave it on the porch or the... I don't know, he might have to sign for it. Oh, Ted, I think this has got something to do with you, hasn't it? There used to be an auction house down there. Yeah. So this is the village of Headcorn. This has got, they've got um, like a private... No, it's not a private, it's just a small aerodrome in it. Uh, for, for a little uh, light aircraft that go to France from here. Because we are quite, quite close to the, uh, the coast. Um, so it's quite a... You can go to... You can go to uh, France, the Torquay airport for lunch and then come back again in the afternoon, apparently, if you've got enough money. <laughs> I'd love to do that. That's cooking, isn't it? So this is the parcel that you've been waiting for that's supposed to be from Ted? Yep. Good on you, Ted. But I'm gonna have to pick it up tomorrow morning from the post office. Have to wait another day. Yeah, I'm not gonna worry. Well, I think that's it. I think we can switch her off now, can't we? Yeah. Listen, guys.
don't forget, um, just before I go, and I will be making another post this week, a video this week, um, we are now 10 days away from the auction uh, for Richard Arnold's charity do, and we have now got uh, nearly 50 bidders and 50 lots, so ideal. But if you want to bid on any of the lots, don't leave it to the last minute. Get yourself a PM or a, a direct message on Instagram to me, and I'll get you a bidder, unique bidder number, and then we can start bidding. Uh, because the bidding is starting in the last week is generally always going to take off big start, and particularly on the day. So get your bids in if you want any of the, the lots. There are some lots that haven't actually got any bids on yet, surprisingly. Some quite surprisingly. Uh, so get your get your bit of uh, requests in, and I'll give you a number, and then you can bid by email, and we can uh, keep the uh, the bidding amount going. I think we're over, almost, if not over, six thousand pounds already now. So that's just brilliant. Uh, so yeah, so that's it. So we just press this. Is that killing ourselves?